today we're going to talk about the grammar, meaning, and pronunciation of the words can and can't. We use can and can't to talk about ability or possibility. My first example sentence is, I can bake a cake. Because can is a modal, we always use it together with the base form of the main verb. That means we don't use the infinitive, we don't have subject verb agreement, we just use can with the base form of the verb. Let's look at a negative example. They cannot swim. We can use cannot as one word or two words, or we can use the contraction can't. That's the most common in American English. So let's talk about often the biggest problem with pronunciation between can and can't. And let's look at two example sentences. We'll practice with I can speak English or I can't speak English. Now that pronunciation was very slow and very clear, but let's talk about how Americans really pronounce these words in conversation. The word can is usually not emphasized and it sounds more like kin, kin. I can speak English, I can speak English, I can speak English, kin, kin. It's very small and it's usually not emphasized. If someone is really emphasizing that word, they will say it with a stronger voice, can. I can speak English, but most of the time it's not emphasized. We say, I can speak English. And can't has a little bit different pronunciation. The vowel sound is a little bit stronger and sounds like a. Ah. We usually say can't, can't. The T is very soft. We don't have a strong t sound. It sounds like can't, can't. I can't speak English. I can't speak English. I can't speak English. You can hear that the T is very soft. It sounds kind of like the little, the insect ant, ant. And. So we say can usually as kin, 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 and can't sounds like can't, can't. So we have kin, can, kin, can. The difference is very small, but it's definitely there, and obviously it's an important difference because these two ideas are opposite. 